Hello, hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Mighty High and in this episode is going to be about all the blocks behind me. And aren't they beautiful and lovely? Yes, these are the new 1.16 Neverite blocks and also Ancient Debris on the left. So in today's video, I am going to show you how to find it and also how to craft it up and also what you can do with it as well. All right, so first of all, let's just go through what we've got here. So first of all, we have our Ancient Debris here, which this is what it looks like. It also has a really cool sound as well when you place it. But yeah, so this looks really kind I kind of see it as camouflage, like um, desert camouflage. But some people are calling them Cinnabons for obvious reasons for the top. <laughs> so this is the ancient debris and you need this to get neverite. So in this chest, we have a neverite ingot here. And then over here, we have neverite blocks. And this will give you a good idea. So with the neverite, you can actually make all of these items. So you can put it on your tools and also your armor as well, which is awesome. So I know that might be a bit confusing for you guys that don't know how to get ancient debris, but don't worry, I am going to show you now. So here we are in the overworld and you might think that you can find ancient debris in the overworld but unfortunately you would be wrong. You would have to travel to the nether which means if you're in an early game you need some obsidian to make your nether portal and also something to light it with. So a fire charger is the pro way of doing it or you can use a flint and steel. So the way you make a portal is basically four on the bottom, three on the top sides, or technically five on the sides even because you want the two on the bottom like so. You can also cut out these corners if you so wish, just so you can save on obsidian if it's early game. And then all we need to do is light that sucker. And that is our never portal done. And you can make this for up to 23 blocks. So 23 by 23 this can be, but this is the smallest that the portal can be, which is a 2 by 3. Uh, so yeah, so this is another portal, let's go through it, see where we end up, and we've ended up in the worst biome possible to get it, but nonetheless it doesn't really matter. Let's have a little look through here. It's also advisable to take, turn your fog off if you're using Optifine because it really does help out a lot when you see. So if I turn the fog on. All right, so this is with the fog on. And as you can see, visibility is not really that good around here in the nether with fog on. So, so I like to take the fog off. So you just go to your video settings, details, fog settings, fast or off. I'm just going to switch that off. Awesome, so now we've made it to the nether. I have no idea where that nether portal just went to. Um, <laughs> I've lost my portal already. Where's my portal gone? All right, I found my portal. <laughs> Let's go back into, we want creative even. Awesome. So now we're in the nether, the first thing we want to do is actually take your coordinates for the nether portal so you don't actually get lost. That might sound like a very obvious thing to do, but you'd be surprised at how many people forget to do that. I myself even forget to do that sometimes. So if you just press, if we press F3, it'll give you the debug screen and you can get your coordinates from there. So I'm just going to... Another way is F3 and F2 to get a screenshot of it and then you can find your way from there. Now we know where our port nether portal is to get back. What we can do is basically we can, if we wanted to, dig here for netherite but it's very rare that you would actually find anything. So as I say that we can start digging anywhere around here in the nether to find ancient debris because ancient debris if we just go over here so ancient debris if we go all the way up here I've just dug a little hole here to give you a visual 
idea of what's going on. So we are at Y119. So this is the top level where ancient debris could theoretically spawn. And then it goes all the way down here to Y, I think, 9, essentially. So yeah, and the lava and all. <laughs> So let's go all the way down if we are we going even more further no we need to break some bedrock by the looks of it let's get out of this lava as well if we can come on let's let's get let's get out so we want to go all the way down that's five we've gone too far down that's nine there so that is the lowest theoretically where ancient debris can actually spawn so from y level 9 all the way up to y level 119 is where you can possibly find neverite however the most common place you will find ancient debris is y level 15 so if we just build ourselves a little staircase or dig ourselves a little staircase up here here we are y level 15 is here and this is the most common level where you would actually find ancient debris. Trust me, I've done this quite a few times and it is actually true. So uh, what you could do from here is just mine in a straight line until you hit something. Obviously, the basalt delta is the worst <laughs> biome to even mine in. So I would try and avoid basalt deltas like the plague when you're trying to mine for this stuff so let's just go in a straight line and hopefully we can find some soon and there we have it we've literally found some within like the first few minutes of mining and as you can see this one is only a one vein which kind of is annoying so these can spawn from anywhere between one to three and then that it is possible to get two clusters next to each other so it is technically possible to get six next to each other but it's very rare i have actually seen it once in the game and that's only it once because this stuff as i as i will demonstrate in this video is really quite hard to find as you can see we've mined well, we haven't really been at it for that long, but we've only found one, one piece of ancient debris. So, yeah. So, this is one way you can use to mine things, uh, to find ancient debris even, which is just literally strip mining in one direction. And then, if you feel like you want to go in another direction, you can do. Another way of doing it is by taking out all of these blocks. When you're mining as well so that you can see more blocks like that but i'm sure you guys have heard of other means so you guys may or may not know this but you've probably heard it before but you can use beds to mine for ancient debris because beds if you don't know blow up in the nether as i will demonstrate there <laughs> so that's why you never sleep in the never because the, you will just blow up your bed and end up dying. <laughs> so this, there is actually a way where you can mine for ancient debris without getting blown up by the bed when you actually place it. And I'll show you how to do that now. So what we want to do is we want to come out, let's place our bed there. Then we want to come out four blocks away from that. So that's two, three and four. And then if I go into survival quickly. Right, so we're in survival. So if I click on this bed, I should take a bit of damage, but I shouldn't die. So let's try it out. And you can see I took two and a half hearts of damage, but I didn't die. And you could see right there, there was a bit of ancient debris there. So what we could do now is let's put ourselves back in creative. What you could do now after this is let's get rid of this bit of lava here and i think that was just one bit nope there 
and then all the fire if you want to as well because the fire could be hiding ancient debris behind it so it's ideal to get rid of all the fire as well and there we have it we have two bits of ancient debris there so we found three bits here and then you can just continue this on over here so what we want two three four place our bed four blocks explode the bed and you can do it that way as well and you do cover you do blow up quite a big area doing it this way however being as they're beds you would probably want to carry the wool and wood separate with you because beds take up quite a lot of inter inventory space so just be aware of that when you're actually if you actually want to use beds that is my favorite however is yes you've guessed it the humble tnt so my strategy for actually getting netherite with tnt is we're going to leave these like so but we've already got this mine shaft here that we dug so all we do is we dig a hole or a, a mine shaft kind of thing in one direction quite far though you want to go a good hundred or so blocks if you've got enough tnt that is like so and then what we want to do is we want to basically place the tnt like that every block or two essentially so don't worry if they cluster up too much but we just want to place the tnt like that eventually you'll get into a rhythm with it and then we can do this side as well all the way to the end why not all right i think that will do yeah we're almost at the end now you want to give yourself a bit of clearance in case you blow yourself up with it as well uh so next thing we want to do is we could get fire charger to ignite the tnt if we wanted flint and steel my preference is actually a flame bow because can actually stand way back and shoot the TNT and then get under here so you don't get take any damage but seeing as this is just a demonstration I'm going to use a fire charger for it that will ignite the TNT and yeah you know what happens after that it just blows up hopefully we get a good chain reaction yeah we got a good chain reaction there and then what you do after that is basically just have a look and see if you've uncovered any ancient debris see we've got some there nice is that just one bit looks like it doesn't it yep that's just one bit of ancient debris there as i say this stuff is rare <laughs> and i'm not joking like we found three that would be the our fourth bit of ancient debris we found so far um so yeah and it's kind of advisable to take as much lava away as you can because they could be hiding blocks underneath them as well that you might want to be blowing up or it could hide ancient debris even so yeah so we're going to just destroy the rest of this nether and make sure that we haven't missed anything as well that's one we've already seen oh nice we've got another one there awesome so yeah so sometimes you just have to keep igniting the TNT, but if you get it at a good chain reaction, hopefully you should be okay. And then we can just destroy this bit of lava as well. Why not? Oh, yeah, we got a good chain reaction there. Let's see it. Yes! Goodbye, never! <laughs> awesome! So, now we've used up our TNT, we can get rid of this lava. We've got another bit there, that's cool. Any more we can find? Any under this lava, maybe? Oh, there's a bit there. Awesome. Tiny bit there. That we've already seen, mind. And a bit there. So, you can kind of get the gist on how rare this stuff actually is to find. And we haven't even found a free vein yet. We've been really unlucky this time, but we haven't even found three in a row. We've literally only found 
Uh, that's our best one at the moment, too. <laughs> and yeah, you can also find it in this blackstone as well. Uh, so if you want to dig out the blackstone, you can do. You can also just blow it up if you wish as well. Like this. And then see if there's anything underneath it. Because it does actually spawn in blackstone as well, or any other block, I think. So, I've showed you a few methods on how you can actually mine the ancient debris now. So, now we've got our ancient debris, what do we do with it? How do we turn it into netherite? Well, I'm going to show you that right now. So, here we are back in the overworld now. So, imagine that we've gone mining for our ancient debris in the nether. And then we've come back to the overworld to our base because we're wondering what do we do with this ancient debris now? Well, one thing you will need is either a furnace or a blast furnace. Blast furnace is obviously faster than a furnace, but both will work fine. I'm going to use the blast furnace for this case. So what we do is we put our ancient debris in the blast furnace and we smelt it up and that gives us... Uh, never write scrap and you would think that you could do something with that but you can't and yeah I mean creative you can't do anything with a never write scrap unfortunately I mean you can't even put it on anything I mean this is an ingot like that's you would think you get an ingot out of it but you don't you just get a never write scrap I mean what's this so what we do is we take our never write scraps then we get some gold. Yes, this is where gold comes into it. Not mentioned anywhere else in this video. Gold is like really quite easy to get now from the nether. There's loads of really quite easy gold farms you can get. So it's not too much of a problem getting the gold compared to getting the ancient debris. So once we've got our netherite scraps and we've got some gold, let's grab ourselves a crafting table. Awesome. So we've got ourselves a crafting table. So what we want to do is get into the interface of the crafting table. Then we want to place four gold ingots like so. Yes, I, I said four gold ingots and four netherite scraps like that. And that gives us a netherite ingot. We need four bits of gold and four bits there there and four bits of netherite scrap to make or one netherite ingot shall i say which is really expensive <laughs> coming to it but that's not all to make the netherite block you need nine ingots to make a netherite block so you put nine ingots in a crafting table like that and you get yourselves a netherite block the most expensive block in the game Converting all your netherite into a netherite block might be one thing that you want to do with all your netherite, but considering you've worked that hard for it, I think you might want to put it on your armor or your tools. Although this is, like, probably my favorite block in the game. <laughs> I really do like this block. But anyway, on to how we make our netherite armor and our netherite tools. So what we need is we need actually need a smithing table, which was introduced in, I think, 1.13, but it never had any functionality until now. So to make yourselves your netherite armor or boots or whatever you want, basically, we need a smithing table and it also needs to be diamond as well. So we need a diamond set of armor or set of tools in order to make our netherite armor or tools so what we do is we go open up our smithing table yep <laughs> we put our netherite ingots in this section here and then we can put our tool in this section here our diamond tool even and we get our netherite sword <laughs> which is awesome and it doesn't even cost any levels or anything either so let's do that with all of the things we can do it with basically so armor and then we want tools as well all right so just to show you that you can do it with all the tools and armor so i've got an array of diamond armor and a couple of diamond tools here mostly 
the ones you would use like a pickaxe and an axe i've already shown you the sword so we can do this on our helmet and get ourselves a netherite helmet we can do this on our chest plate and get ourselves a netherite chest plate we can do it on our leggings and get a netherite a netherite leggings and we can do it on our boots and get netherite boots so that would be op right there but we can also put it on our tools as well which is awesome so we can put it on our pickaxe and also an axe and also a shovel and a hoe as well unfortunately the only thing you can't put it on or you can't put it on elytra and you can't put it on anything apart from diamond tools so there is a few limits to what you can do with the neverite but considering it's a really expensive block anyway i mean you would want to just put it on your tools and armor wouldn't you so ladies and gentlemen i hope you enjoyed this episode and now you should be able to find ancient debris and get your own neverite tools and armor which will really help you out in your survival world trust me it makes you die less so thank you very much for watching my name is mighty high if you like this video then please click the like button and if you really liked it then click the subscribe button and ding that bell for further uploads i've been mighty high and thank you very much for watching goodbye